Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've come down to Gunwallow. of what to expect from our channel in the next few weeks. <laughs> oh, dearie me. What's that? Oh, you're covered in it. wobbling like a jelly. Obviously intrigued our little doggy there. I'm going to send him in the sea just to wash him off. We're at Zola Cove in Gunwallow. Gunwallow is on the Lizard Peninsula. It's near Mullion. tide and the waves are quite well feisty shall we say <laughs> I think that's a good word there's just tumbling in one after the other it's amazing with it hasn't it? It's been a bit stormy this week, it's big seas. This little fella here on the beach, this is a Portuguese man of war jellyfish. Look at the colours in that. Hello everybody. Hi. We're going back into lockdown. Oh it's like a repeat isn't it? Yeah but it's necessary we all know that and hopefully the people that say it's only a month are right and it won't be much longer. Yeah, and it's for everybody's benefit, isn't it? Keeping us all safe. And hopefully the reward at the end of it will be a Christmas with our families. So what does our lockdown mean this time? Well, schools and universities and places of work where you can't work from home are staying open. And it's everybody else that's shutting the bars, restaurants and stuff. All the non-essential businesses. Yeah. But sometimes those non-essential businesses to some people are quite essential, aren't they? I know. It's such but a shame, especially if you earn your livelihood through it. They've got to make the rules some way, haven't they? Yeah. It's going to affect everybody in different ways, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, wherever you are, certainly in the UK at the moment, Europe, it's going to affect you differently. One thing we did notice back in March was loads of comments about how you found our videos uplifting, so we'll try to carry on giving you some videos over the next few weeks. Don't worry, we have filmed some. But we'd come down to the church for a bit of shelter. The tamarisk hedge here might provide us with a little bit and the headland behind the church here. If you watch us regularly, you know we've been here before. Watch out for those ghosts, you never know. One of the videos that we filmed recently, which will be going out on the channel over the next few weeks, is we visited Mullion, which isn't very far away from here. We went to try and find the old lighthouse in Mullion. No, I didn't know that Mullion had a lighthouse. But anyway, we found a story about the former lighthouse keeper. He's called Samuel Mundy. We also went looking for something very interesting at the church. Ah, which is gone. What are we looking for? Uh, we're looking for this. But what's that? It's a dog. And what's that? It's a door. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Right, a dog, dog door. door. Yeah. 
What for? Apparently they had a dog door here. Yeah. So many years ago, if people were going in and wanting to pray, and they took a dog in with them, if the dog was too noisy, they would kick it out through the dog flap in the dog door. <laughs> what do you reckon about that then, boy? Would you go out through the dog door? The video that we're really excited about, we took a train trip along the Tamar Valley line and we went from Plymouth Station all the way to Gunners Lake, getting off at Gunners Lake, or alighting, as you say, from a train, and walking to Calstock. Really interesting. We went through nearly, oh, there you are. Oh yeah, it was a three mile walk down through the um, Danescombe Valley. Yes, and it picks up on a lot of history there. So that's a really nice video. Looking forward to that one coming out, aren't you? Yes. So we went to Mevagissi. Yeah, beautiful. Did an inland walk really, wasn't it? Up the valley, one side and down the other, taking in Port Mellon. Yeah. Gosh, this wind is keen. We ended up at an absolutely uh, beautiful Kalina Beach. Yeah, Kelowna. Kelowna? Kalina? You say Kelowna and I say Kalina. You say Kelowna, I say Kalina. Kelowna, Kalina, Kelowna, Kalina. <laughs> Let's that. call the whole thing up. in sea foam, a natural phenomenon. It's not an indicator of poor environmental quality. In fact, it's quite the opposite. If you can hear me, it means our seas are rich in algae and it aerates and it creates this foam. Do you like it? Do you boy? on this beach is sea glass. One of my recent obsessions. During the last lockdown we had to be quite inventive and I showed you for the first time, I shared with you a project at St Michael's Mount. I've recently completed a couple of projects about Port Leven and I picked them up from the framers yesterday, I'm really pleased with them. Made a video about how I made them so hopefully we will publish that soon as well. This will be a Cornish Walking Trails dog walk without some digging, will it boy? Are you digging? Dig, 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 dig. Good boy, aren't you? Oh, is that good? You're digging a hole. Oh, I don't know. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's a saw, but it's... So, I've just told everybody about my sea glass project oh, for Force yes. 11. What about your scone project? Well, I haven't filmed that yet. No. If we get desperate, you can make a cream tea for everyone. Cooking with Sarah and Andrew again. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, we've done the pasty. Let's do a cream tea. Cream tea next. Good idea. Okay. He wants me to play. <laughs> but I found some shelter. Oh, it's a bonkers day, isn't it? So I'm sheltered behind the tiniest little clump of rock, but at least it's out of the wind. Oh, hello, boy! I can come so low. <laughs> oh, I love walks like this, don't you? Should we go round the headland here? Well, headland, it's a clump of rock. And see what it's like and show everybody Look, we go like this and, oh, the wind is going for it. The sea is rocking and rolling. Goodness knows where Andrew is. He's here somewhere. Where is he? Oh! <laughs> it's rocking, isn't it? Oh my goodness. I think I need to clean my lens. Blowing. So over the year we've had loads of comments from people telling us about um, perhaps their plans to come to Cornwall in 2020 and how things have had to be either delayed or cancelled. We've also had people say to us that they have been able to get a trip down here and they've had a really nice time. So 
we try and give you a little bit of Cornwall every week and we're going to endeavour to try and do that without breaking any of the rules and we're going to stay nice and safe. But to follow us and see where we've been and what we've been up to, check out our Instagram, our Facebook and our community page on the YouTube channel. And if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and tell your friends. Let's grow the channel together. We've got over 8,000 subscribers now. Wouldn't it be lovely to get to 10,000? If you want to watch ad-free, join us on Patreon. No advert. And the last thing to mention before we wrap this up and go and get a nice hot cup of tea, we're hoping to do a questions and answers video at the end of the year. If you've got any questions you'd like us to answer, pop them in the comments. joining us on our dog walk, albeit wet and windy and a bit wild. I love Cornwall this time of the year, it's a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so stay safe and for now from us, bye! bye.